Oh, hey guys. Didn't see you there. So funny that uh, camera's rolling. I just happened to be reviewing a new wood stove. Funny how that works, huh? Anyways, this is a new wood stove. Just fired it up. Let's let it warm up. Let's dive into a video. Let's go. This thing is stinking awesome. I got it on and ripping. Uh, get as close up as you can, Elijah. So it's got an angled front. We'll show you a picture, but it's cool. I think it's an unexpected result is it sort of pushes the fire forward, which I think makes it look awesome. It's still pretty cold. So I'm gonna keep the door cracked so I can maintain a good fire until we're totally sealed off. So. This is a new company called MF Fire. I know, it's kind of a curious name, MF. <laughs> but that's what they call it. Anyways, this is a 16 inch log. They say you can fit a 22 inch log. I mean, it fits easy. I got 20 inches. Now what's so cool is how tall this viewing area is. So this window, 14 inches. Now to put that in perspective, that's gonna be the best selling feature of this unit. Oh, I got a splinter. Is how big our window is. To put that in perspective, come on, let's quick go in the showroom. Let me show the folks at home. So this is uh, one of our inserts that's in our showroom. This is a Regency. We're at 11. So we're getting three extra inches here. And the width, pretty close to the same. So let's go back out and check it out. Anyways, a lot of different install options. We have it sitting right on the floor. And the reason we do is we ordered this as an insert. So we don't have a pedestal or legs for it. Um, the insert and the, and the stove are the same boxes, just different install configurations. And then when you have the insert, of course, you're gonna have a surround that goes around it. We're gonna show you pictures of all of this. But what's really cool is on the freestanding model, you can put like little baby legs on it. So they're so cute, they're little baby legs, little three inch legs. So. It kind of looks like this, just sits up a little bit taller and they have three inch legs, I think six inch legs, and then a couple different tower heights. So the tower heights you can store your wood in, <clears throat> gets it way up off the ground, super cool looking, super contemporary. That's what's so cool about the stove is a ton of different install options and they all look stinking awesome. So that's really the two big selling features is the install variety and then how big our window is and how awesome the fire looks in this stove. And it's just nice, simple, clean lines. Now let's get down to performance here. So it does use a catalytic combustor, so it is EPA certified, 2020 approved, no limitations on this guy. And so there's essentially a bypass right here. Let's get a close up over here, Elijah. So I don't have the catalytic combustor engaged, but once the stove was up to temp, you'd flip this down and then your catalytic combustor is engaged. Now, I know what you're thinking, if, if this is an insert and it's inside a fireplace, how do you do that? Well, there's an attachment for a lever that comes right out here. So that's really the only thing you have to worry about as far as controllability is controlling that bypass damper. And then there's also a really good air wash system, which we don't have it hot enough to really show you because it'll take all day. But an air wash system means it's gonna keep this glass clean naturally. So as the stove would were to heat up, if there's any soot on the glass, it will sort of auto clean or self clean itself, which is really slick. A lot of wood stoves have that, but when you're dealing with a window this big, that's definitely something you're gonna want for sure, is the ability for the glass to stay clean on its own. One last install thing we wanted to show you. <clears throat> Come back here. So we have this vented off the top here, but we can change this configuration around and we can flip this to a rear vent stove. So that's also really cool if we need to exit out into a fireplace and then go up, or if you wanna go out the side of a house and then go up. So a lot of different options there, which is pretty slick. <clears throat> now this stove, they don't have a lot of finishes as far as like nickel or anything like that, just comes plain black, which is fine by me because I think it looks pretty, pretty sweet. When Elijah was getting out of the box, what did you say? It looks like a tank. It looks like a tank. That's not me, is that what you said? That's what I remember saying. That's what you remember saying. You guys said it was like the coolest one you set up, huh? 
Oh yeah, that too. Yeah, you liked it. Our fire's dying, dying out, and uh, I don't really want to keep this going since it's like the end of the work day here, and Elijah's got to figure out how to put this fire out before we leave for the day and uh, finish up with this video. But uh, let's, let me open the door so you can get a look at the roof again. See if we get a nice view of that. Isn't that cool? It's pretty slick, huh? Mm -hmm. Again, what I like too is our latch system is on the outside of the firebox. When these latches are on the inside of the firebox, they get obliterated right away. They go bad. That's hot. I'm so dumb. Like, why would I think that wouldn't be hot? Um, these latches go bad when they're on the inside. They burn up. So the latch control here and here is on the outside of the firebox, so I can tell you that that's going to last a long time. And then nice thick gasket material here. Let's get a shot of that. And uh, I would 100%, people always ask me, like, well, what's in your house, you know? Like, like I have, you know, we do electric fireplaces, gas fireplaces, wood fireplaces, barbecues, outdoor kitchen, smokers. Like, what's in your house? Well, I don't have one of everything <laughs> in my house, so I have to tell them, if I were to have one of these, I don't have a wood stove in my house. If I were to have a wood stove, I would, without hesitation, put this in my house. That's how cool I think it is. So this is MF Fire. Can't forget that name. Maybe that's why they did it, because no one's going to forget it. Um, it's going to be on our website. You can buy it on our website, or you can come down to our showroom, check out these products in person for yourself. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It helps out our channel a ton when you guys do that. Stay tuned for more videos. And uh, did, I say if we're in, if, did I say if you're in the Denver, Colorado area? This part gets a little repetitive. Anyways, if you're in the Denver, Colorado area, come down today. Uh, anyways, stay tuned for more videos. End of the day, banquet time. We're in the Rockies. Duh. Stay tuned for more.